Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the K-pop con Winnipeg vlog. Sorry there's no true intro to this vlog but it was really loud in the building because they were practicing the music and like the MCs were practicing so it was really loud and I was just would have been unable to talk with how loud it was but I thought I would show you some of my setup. So it, as I you can tell from the title of the con, it's a K-pop specific event. It's the first like K-pop con in Winnipeg. So I brought some different stuff that I normally bring to conventions, like some of my old albums, some photo cards, some light stick decals. But I had a great spot. My table was right facing the stage. So finally I got to watch all the dance performances. We had all of our local anime or local K-pop cover groups in Winnipeg perform. They were so good. This is just the practice. You'll see some of the other events later. But I never get to see this stuff when I table because normally the stuff's in a separate room, but it wasn't this time and it was awesome. I loved being able to see all the dances. Everybody was so good and it was awesome, but it was so loud in there at the beginning. That's what I'm saying here. It's so loud in here, but they did turn the music down to a more reasonable level a little bit later, but it was really loud at the beginning. My hair is also kind of a mullet and yellow right now. Hopefully you like it. <laughs> I think I literally have a moment to talk because they're doing dance rehearsals um, for the, the dance groups and it's going to be loud in here, I think. It's really exciting for me because I get to watch the dances, which again, I never get to do ever, but it's going to be loud. So a little hard to film, so this might, or like hard to vlog, so this might be a very um, a voiceover vlog just because it's so busy. It's like 1.40 right now, the thing starts at 3. And I'm, you can't bring food in here, and so I'm kind of like, do I go, I might, maybe I'll go and try to find somewhere to eat, because otherwise then I won't be able to eat until 8, or after, sometime after 8, and will I survive? That's my fear. Hee <laughs> hee. Just keep looking at my hair. I found, I dyed my hair yellow because I couldn't find, because my green didn't come in time, um, but then I found another thing of green, so... Response. But yeah, but I am kind of done setting up, so maybe I will, because it's not like I have to watch the dance practices because I will see the actual performances when they happen, you know what I mean? Maybe I will see if there's anything close by to eat, but I'm very excited. Oh, you can kind of hear the music in the background, so this might be a very, also very copywritten vlog, but I forgot to tell you guys that I got here at like 11, 11 maybe? And then as soon as I arrived, I opened my suitcase and I realized that my bag, if you watched my Artist Alley guide video, I had like a bag with all of the connectors for these. I left that at home. So I had to go all the way home, pick those up, come back, which ended up not being too bad. Cause like it was really, it didn't take me that long to get set up and it was, I was here really early, but I was like, I got all the way here and I have to go home. <laughs> Like I hate, I hate doing that. Like I don't have to pay for parking, thankfully, but like I was so mad. But we're here, we're set up. I don't know how loud the music will be because it's not so loud right now. Um, so maybe it won't be so loud. That would be cool. Except I think if it isn't loud, it'll be really quiet in here, and so then I'll be too nervous to talk. So we'll figure it out. It's 2:05. It opens in one hour. So see you once it's open.
now like six o'clock. It's been pretty busy. Like my sales are really good for like a few hours and my square reader's almost dead, so I'm very stressed. I only have like 25% left, so it might die before the end of the day, which is very sad, but it's been super busy and I've talked to so many K-pop fans. I just, I have many feelings, which I'm sure that I will share at the end of this, but oh my God, I'm so excited. I love Winnipeg. The Winnipeg K-pop community is so lovely and I'm so happy I love it here. I hope this, this, it seems like it's, it'll, it's done well enough that it will continue, but God, this is so fun. This is so fun. Also, all the outfits here are so fun. I love like when people like dress like in like K-pop-y fashion. Everybody looks so good. It's so weird being at an event kind of like this because it feels kind of like a Comic-Con except nobody, very few people are in like cosplay. They're in like just like K-pop-y outfits. It's so fun. And it's lovely because there's like such a variety of people here too. Like it's not just young people or not just like women or men. It's like all genders, all ages. I just met a lovely, lovely lady who's a huge fan of VIX. And uh, she bought like all my VIX like the photo cards that I have and like four of my VIX um, light stick stickers. It was so funny. And I love, but I love that. Like I love, you know, that K-pop isn't just for one kind of person, it's for anyone. Because I also had a couple of gentlemen who came, who I, on the street, would never suspect to be a K-pop fan, but they were, they bought a couple of my Super Junior albums, like, amazing. I love stuff like that, like, I love that it's not, like, I love just seeing it, because I think that it can be, like, the stereotype is that it's all one type of person who's a K-pop fan, but, like, no, it's, uh, there's lots of people who are amazing and, like, just incredible. I just love looking at all of the stuff, so. This is, I'm, I'm having so much fun. I'm actually so sad that there's only like two hours left. Then I have to go home and be done with this. I'm so, but it'll be fun. Cause, but then purple kiss, hee 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 hee, purple kiss, hee hee. So it's 7.50 now, but they sort of said that we could stay until eight. So, or eight, sorry, not, we were supposed to stay till eight, but he said we could stay till 8.30. I'm probably gonna start like sort of packing up things. Um, just so that I don't have a ton to take down, but this was a super fun event. I'm so happy and it There was a lot of people here So I really hope that means that it will continue next year Like I hope that this is a success for like the organizers and I think it ran really smoothly like there were no big technical difficulties This was an awesome event. I love stuff like this when you know niches get their get their time anime conventions have been happening forever anime gets their time it's k-pop fans turn especially in a space where it's not just like k-con like you need a space like this where it's like just fans doing their thing you know this was really fun i had a great time i'm so excited yeah and i'm so excited because purple kiss is on monday i'm gonna keep talking about it i'm so excited but led to us to, and I don't think, well hopefully takedown won't take too long. It didn't take too long to set up, and then let's hope. Oh, it's getting dark, because the DJ's gonna start soon, because it's like the after party thing. I assume it's happening here, because I can, yeah, they're setting up the DJ stand, so it'll be here too. But, yeah. See you when we take down. So now that we are at the end here, I thought that I would film my extended taking down process while you watch the party in the back so that was the after party it was dj soul young i believe was her name she was from toronto which was very cool i loved taking down when there was like a party going on because i could sing along to all the songs it kept me really like focused which i love i did some of the dances i can't really dance but it was so fun I honestly wish that all of my takedowns were like this, where I could just like listen to the music that I like while taking down everything. It's much more fun than just like nothing at most cons. But like I've probably heard, you've heard me say a few times in this video, I had so much fun at this event. Like this, whatever on the like selling side of it, that was like not important to me. What was important to me was like being at this event and getting to like physically see other k-pop fans of all like ages and races and genders and it was just amazing like i don't think that you guys understand and maybe you do if you're an old k-pop fan but i've been listening to k-pop since 2008 and i for a really long time thought i was the only k-pop fan in winnipeg because there was no space for me there was no place that i could go where other people who liked k-pop were there like the first time that i saw a k-pop album in person was at the local anime convention icon um was that 20 maybe 2013 
whenever right after BAP's Power came out, because that was the first album that I bought in person. But from 2008 to 2013, I never saw a hint of another K-pop fan in the wild. So just the thought of like this many people showing up to an event like warms my heart. You know when people say like healing your inner child? That's what this event felt like for me because I felt so isolated and alone as a teenager and now look at all the people that are here. Like it's crazy and like all it just ah it makes me so happy just to like be bear witness to the growth that the K-pop community here has had, and it makes me so happy. I felt the same about the Purple Kiss concert, which will be in the other event, but I just, oh, it was so good. I was so happy, and, like, congrats to the organizers of this event. Like I said, everything ran really smoothly, at least, like, from my perspective, I noticed kind of no issues. I really liked the room that we were in. It's very small, but they're, um... I liked being able to see the stage. That was really cool because, again, I never get to see the stage when I'm tabling. And I thought that although the music was loud, it wasn't so loud that, like, sales were inhibited. And it was, I don't know, yeah, it was just, like, a good event. I was just really happy. I liked seeing all of the Winnipeg uh, K-pop cover dance groups because, again, they perform often at Icon, but I never get to see them because I'm at my table. So that was really fun. Um, and... Yeah, they're, like, even, like, this after party, like, the few times that I turned around just watching other people dance is just, like, so fun. Because, like, I can't dance. My brain knows the moves. My body cannot follow them. But, yeah, it was a great time. And you can see from this video here how long my dang takedown takes me. Because this is really me, only me taking down my stickers. And I put each of my stickers into individual bags, which is really good for organization, but takes so long to do to put all of them back and it, it just takes me forever but I know that if I didn't do it now I would really regret it when it came time to prepare for Icon which is right away so I figured I would get it done now and again I was listening to music that I really like and doing you know getting to see people that are fun so I figured that I would do it but it did take me quite a while to take down I think all in all my takedown was probably an hour and a half maybe because I didn't have to take down everything because I had my wagon and I was driving. But I my stickers just take so long. But, you know, I did leave with a lighter load, which is nice. Especially some of the albums I was able to sell, which was very exciting. Because sometimes I would like to get rid of my al some albums, but it's really hard to sell albums online because the shipping's so expensive. And a lot of my albums are really old. And I have thought about, like you know, repurposing them for stuff, but sometimes I just don't have the time for that. So it was nice that I got to give them new life to, uh, from, to other people. Somebody bought one of my boyfriend albums, which was so exciting because I love boyfriend and I want to spread the boyfriend love everywhere. But yeah, I had a really good time at this event and I'm just, I was just so happy. I love doing anything K-pop related. It just makes me feel so good and so like, I don't know. It's like the one space where I feel like really comfortable because I like know what's talked about and I understand what's going on, which is very cool because all my other interests don't really have like conventions, you know? And so it's like, it's like anime cons, so fun. I understand what's happening, but I don't watch as much recent anime, but like K-pop, I know what's going on. The new groups, I know. Not super well, but I know, I know. I try to keep track of things. I'm on Twitter. So yeah, I hope that this video, while being a little bit shorter, was interesting for you. And yeah, we will um, finish off my little end bit here. So that is it for the K-pop con Winnipeg vlog. I'm actually filming this after the Purple Kiss concert because I realized I never made an outro. But yeah, I had a great time. Like I probably said before, it was just so fun. I think it had it was a really good turnout. And I counted my money and I did like very well. Like I made like a around $500, which is good for a one day event for five hours. You know, I more than doubled the table cost. So that's pretty good. I was like not expecting anything. I was like, if I could make table back, that would be awesome. So the fact that I did better than that, I was like, that's really good. I'm really pleased. I hope that they will continue. I think they will because I see like it was a good turnout. So 
I was really happy with that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope if you went to K-pop con, you had a good time. Let me know. Are there K-pop events in your city? Because I would love to go to more K-pop events, but a lot of them are one-day markets and it's hard to travel for that. But I had a great time anyway. So thank you so much for watching. St stay tuned for my Purple Kiss concert vlog, which will be up probably right after this one. I can give you a spoiler. It was really good. So thank you guys yeah, so much for watching and I will see you in whatever my next video ends up being. Bye!